did some house sitting for a family before they they had these this one cat that was blind I'm going out in the garage one day he follows me out and I'm like hey little guy you can't come with me like I'm going to work instead of like you know him just pausing he he runs under this car I'm, I'm looking under there and I'm trying to get him out so I reach under the car, and I pick this cat up. This cat latches onto my, my chest and rips my shirt, and it looks like a demon possessed me and, and just ripped me apart. What up, everybody? My name is Illy Rabbit, aka Lil Phil, and welcome back to another episode of today's Pokemon Randomizer Sapphire Nuzlocke? Did I say all that right? I don't know. We're doing the Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge over here in the Pokemon Sapphire version with random Pokemon. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Lil Phil, aka Illy Rabbit. Um, I, that's my gamer tag. Hit me, on up, hit me up on Xbox Live and or YouTube. I don't really care. We can play Fortnite. We can play Call of Duty. Or you can just watch this, which is probably the best thing to do. Today, we are continuing our Nuzlocke Challenge. We're going to start off by getting an item right here. How'd you know? How did I know? Mech male. I'm just smart. I just I could sniff something. And it was there. Man, today we are about to go ahead and just get right into today's adventure journey, whatever you want to call it. Doing a quick team recap. Dylan, Doc, Crow, Thick Boy, Luna, and Pidgeotto all on the squad. I'll run through their moves real quick. As you can see, Dylan is pretty much a baller shot caller. He kills Mewtwo's and he doesn't even give a crap. Um, Thunder Wave, Tackle, Thunder Shock, Supersonic on the Dock, Crow, Poison Sink, Stand Attack, Mag uh, Absorb, and Leech Seed, Thick Boy with the Ice Ball, Water Gun, Body Slam, Tackle, Confusion, y'all, this team is looking solid. I'm not even gonna, I don't, I don't have to explain anymore. This team kicks butt, and I'm excited to use them today, but we are gonna get a new member right now, and I'm excited to see who that is. Do we battle this chick first, just to... Just to get warmed up. Yes, we. No, we. Oh, no, we are gonna battle her. Sorry, I, I, she juked me out for a second. I don't really get the point of the spinning trainers. Like, does the, does Game Freak want us to battle them or not? All right, so he's got Trace. He just traced my lightning ability or whatever it is. But we one shot you, y'all. I'm excited to be back today. I am. I just ate. Like, I'm eating some, some Kit Kats. Today's video is, is brought to you by Kit Kat. It's not really, but Kit Kat. If you want to sponsor me, please do. I'll eat your candy bars every single day. I don't care what it does to me. Kit Kat, I'll get diabetes for you. I have so much energy, though, right now, and I, I hope to keep that through the entire episode. Um, today, we're there's no goal. There's no goal. We're not trying to beat a gym leader or try and catch a Pokemon. We're just trying to stay alive today, and we're hoping to do so by finding a very strong Pokemon. Hopefully, <laughs> if we could get... Like, if y'all, last time we ran into Mewtwo, and if we could get anything even close to Mewtwo, I would be so happy. Like, anything, so something we can catch. Okay. Nothing close to a Mewtwo, but it is a, a very adorable Pokemon, and we, we will take it. Um, I guess, do we, we're able to Thunder Wave it, right? Is that a thing? Yeah, so we can't paralyze it, which is good. And we, I feel like we're going to be able to just go ahead and throw a ball at it, and we'll win. Definitely not the Pokemon I was wanting to add to the team, though. That's okay. We'll get a couple more encounters up here in a minute. But yeah, today is, is a great day. It's sunny. It feels good. People are walking outside. Despite all the virus that's going around and all the death, like, there is some good things that are coming out of this, and I'm, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be alive and well. Went through this phase a few weeks ago where I had, like, a cough and a cold for, like, two weeks. I don't know if I had the virus or not, but it was something, it, like, it was weird. It was, uh, it had me definitely thinking. Like, it had me thinking that I might, um, y'all, I don't know how many more balls I'm going to throw at this. I'm going to throw maybe one more. I don't think I can weaken it. It's too strong, or it's too weak for me to even try and hit. Uh, do we, do we just run away? Um, we'll try and hit it one time. Oh, we got Luna. Okay. Luna should be able to hit it once. Go on out, Luna. But I'm feeling good today, trying to stay in shape, trying to work out, trying to just do the things. I know I've got the Kit Kats right in front of me, but I'm trying to try to be healthy and uh, and at least do my body a little bit of a favor during a 
a world pandemic. And we caught the Pichu. What do we name this Pichu? The tiny mouse Pokemon. It likes to cry because it is a baby. And that's what we'll call you. Little baby. Y'all, it seems like every one of our Pokemon that we've caught... We're gonna go baby with the B-I-B. Baby. Hey, bye. There it is. Every Pokemon that we've caught in this series, it seems like it's been a male. Which I'm not hating on it. But it's not a bad idea to get some females, too. Alright, we'll battle this guy. If you're lightning... Wait, if you're lighting a campfire, make sure you have water handy. I guess in case you need to put it out. And that's a Kyogre. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and Thundershock you, Kyogre. That's a water pulse. Oh, wow. Thank goodness. Thank goodness Doc knows how to take care of Kyogres. Bagon's coming out. We will go out to Dylan. Like I said, I'm not trying to have Thick Boy right now. Uh, it, I might regret it later on in life, but for right now, I'm, I'm hitting pause. I want to I get a couple more encounters today, and then we will decide if we want to train up my boy or not. That guy just tell me I'm not prepared. Lady Daniel. Uh, I almost attacked this thing, but I think it's a ground type. We'll go out to Crow. Crow is one of my boys. Uh-oh, that's a double tick. A, a double tick? Nope, that's a double kick. That's what I meant to say. For some reason, I thought you were always ground poison is what it is. That's okay. I do need to get Crow some experience, though, because... You know what? One critical hit, that would have that would have killed me. You go ahead and get out of here, Crow. Um... You don't, you don't need to do this. Dylan, you go on out. Alrighty. And we're just gonna water gun. That, that, that'll kill for sure. That will for sure kill. <laughs> this is a thick Nidorina. While we're waiting, why not pop another freaking Kit Kat? I only have four today. And they're many, okay? They're many like that Pichu that we just caught, so don't. Don't try and judge me. This is a free country. A masquerade? Doc, get on out there. Woo, he's got Volt Absorb. Okay. Stop using it. Did that do a single damage? I don't think it did. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We'll go to Pidgeotto, since he's a bug type. Bug flying, right? He might be water. I have, I honestly have no idea. For as long as I've played these games, typings is just something that I'm not... I'm not 100% good at. I don't... I can't, like, look at the Pokemon. I can pretty much guess they're, they're like, their main, uh... Like, their, their priority typing. But they're secondary, that's where I start to get a little confused. Cleffa. We'll take you out one more shot. What? What is up with these Pokemon just hanging on by a thread? Thank you, Daniel. We defeated you. Let's go ahead and heal just to be on the safe side. I'll use a potion, and I want to use it on... Uh, we'll heal a crow. Sure. That should be fine. Come on, Addy. Did he just yodel? Reminds me of, a uh, what's his name? Mason, the yodeling kid. That kid deserved to be famous. He stood in the middle of a Walmart. In the middle of a Walmart and just started doing his thing. No no other kid I know deserves to be more famous. He, he performed at Coachella. Are you kidding me? And what's crazy is, like, I'm pretty sure that was... Was that 2018 that he became famous? Life goes by too fast. I don't. I don't even know. Shout out to the Yodeling Kid, Mason. Alrighty, give me a Master Ball. Everstone. That's pretty much entirely useless. We're not trying to not evolve our Pokemon. But wait, we can get an encounter. I just realized that. All right, so this is going to be our whatever this mountain area encounter is. All right, let's see what it is. A Meowth. Okay, it's a normal type. Pretty lame in these, like, early gens. I'm not gonna lie. Persian's cool. He's fast. He's got a good attack. 
But a Meowth, they're just... He's weak. He's a weakling. Later gens, like the new gen, Meowth gets pretty freaking crazy. He gets some buff moves with the Mega Evolutions, or what, what do they call it? Dynomax? Dude, a Dynomax Mewtwo will freaking put nightmares in your dreams. And we catch you. I, I, I will never use this Pokemon. Y'all, speaking of freaking Meowth. Alright, cats. One, I'm allergic to cats. So, we're just gonna name you... Lurgy, because I don't feel like spelling allergic. So we're going to call you Lurgy. And we got our female. Thank you. We, we added some... We added some uh, estrogen to the team. Lurgy, I'm extremely allergic to cats. And uh, I did some house-sitting. That's a Moltres. Did some house-sitting for a family before. I've actually done it for them a few times. They had numerous pets. Um, I think in total seven. Four, do four dogs, three cats. And, uh, <clears throat> like I said, I'm, I'm allergic, but I was watching their house for, you know, weeks on, on time while they would, you know, go on vacation or do trips or whatever. And, uh, they, they, they had these, this one cat that was blind, a completely blind cat. And uh, I didn't, I didn't realize it was blind. Well, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm going out in the garage one day. And as I'm entering the garage, blind cat follows me out. And I'm like, oh, that's cute. Like, no, listen, I'm allergic, but I don't hate on cats. At least it, I didn't at this time. And uh, and so I, I walk out to the garage. He follows me out. I need to talk to this guy. He follows me out, and I'm like, hey, little guy, like you can't, you can't come with me. Like I'm going to work. And of course, he didn't understand me because he's a cat. But instead of uh, instead of like, you know, him just pausing, he he runs under this car. That's in the garage. And so like I'm I'm looking under there. I'm like shining my light. And I'm trying to get him out, and so I reach under the car, and I pick this cat up, this blind cat. And the cat, y'all, I just gotta pause for a second. This cat latches onto my my chest and rips my shirt, just like just just like I just did right there. And it looks like a demon possessed me and, and just ripped me apart, y'all. This cat made me bleed and like. Literally six spots. I don't know how many claws or talons. What do you what do you what do you even call it? But this cat ripped me apart and from that day from that day on I never I never house sat for these people again. No, I would. I, I definitely would, but that cat ripped me to shreds. It was very, very hard it was very, very hard to live with. My my chest was in much pain for, for a couple days after that. And when you're allergic, you don't just get cut, like you itch. It swells up. It's not. It's not a good day. Anyway, that's my cat. That's my cat rant. Now, all that stemming from a meowth. Let's go check out what this chick's doing in front of my computer. What are you doing? Is she upgrading it? What? Oh, hello. You are. Okay, your name's Little Phil. I can see that you're a trainer. So that means the Pokemon Sword System. Oh, I can use the Pokemon Sword System that you developed. You developed this, really. How I arrived at the conclusion is a simple deductive process. This chick is freaking smart and I don't have time to read all of your dialogue. See you later, something about Route 114. Alrighty, so we have got... We just did something with Team Aqua. Sorry if you care about story time or story, like, actual in-game story. I just gave you my life story instead of the in-game story. I believe now we need to go up and battle uh, the mountain people. We gotta go up this this like elevator lift thing that you skate on, and uh, and, and then battle. It's either Team Aqua or Team Magma. Hey, Lord Helix, what's up, boy? We'll go ahead and kill him just for the XP. Get ourselves a level 25. That's a nice little level. And you two again. Hey, buddy. Yep. Okay. And we can't escape. Okay, that's fine. Can we escape now? Nope. Still not. Barrier. You two, please. Just let us escape. Please let me escape, Mewtwo. Okay. We escaped the Mewtwo, and we're going to get the Master Ball. Yellow Scarf. I'm... Okay, we battled this guy. I don't... Why is this guy... He... This kid is just literally hiding in sand. Or in... No, it's not even sand. It's soot. He is laying in soot. Makes zero sense, but we just bopped his little scissor. And he's got a Mewtwo! This is stupid. You know what? We know who can kill the Mewtwo. It is Dylan himself, the Croconaw, and he's done this before. Go ahead and show him what you're made of, Doc. Or Dylan. 
Mewtwo shot at him. Mewtwo didn't stand a chance. Elekid, how about not? Going out, Crow. Crow has got to learn a freaking better move other than Absorb. Absorb and Poison Sting is just not going to do it. And I get that it, that just did half the HP, but this is a baby Pokemon. Crow's got to learn like a, a Razor Leaf or something. Give me something good. Pidgeotto, you're going out. Defeat the Dust Dogs. I would not mind having a Pidgeot. It's just a it's just a, a nice original 151 Pokemon. It's a you know it's a it's an OG guy. Come on, man! Don't do this to me. Okay, we win. That was a little. We risked it for the biscuit a little bit, but we did get the biscuit. It was worth it. All right, I think there is this an item right here. A dragon fang. Okay, very nice. I don't know. Does that boost dragon type moves? I'm assuming so. If it does anything else, then what are we even doing in life? All right, we're gonna come and heal up with our grandma one more time. She's sipping on some tea. Thank you. Rest, rest, rest. We just take a nap in the seat. I love the simplicity, the tiny house style of this lady. In fact, everybody pretty much in the game has got that tiny house. It's very nice. Much like. We're going to skip through this cave. And actually, you know what? We have strength, but I don't think we're going to be able to use it yet. Or can we? Because there's some items over here that, that, that we could potentially use. Let's see if we can use strength. Um, strength... And then we'll forget, uh, I don't, like, like, Dylan's gonna learn, oh, we'll just teach you Luna. Luna will be our, uh, HM slave for now. Because I don't, for, I don't perceive myself using Luna at all. Alright, can we use strength? Run away from you. Nope, nope, we can't use strength just yet. That's fine, we'll come back for those items later. In the originals, it was, uh, there was a Firestone over there. And a couple other items. But, yeah, so what we're gonna do is we'll go up this lift, and we'll go ahead and battle this, uh, this trainer here, because they're just annoying to... We're gonna be kind of going back and forth from here for a couple times, they're annoying to have to dodge. Um, we'll go ahead and go up this lift. We got the crit, nice. We'll defeat the... I want to say if you're on Team Magma... Wait a second. I, I don't even know. I'm, I'm going I'm to get it wrong. But we battle either Team Magma or Team Aqua. And then we can take on the next gym. Now, how much we'll be able to do all you know, all in one episode? I'm not sure. These episodes are going to be... If I mean, you're not new to the series if you're here. But 25, 30, 35 minutes, maybe 40 if we're really feeling crazy. And, uh, yeah. So we're like... I don't even know how far in we're in right now, but... We're having fun. Dark's, Doc's trying to learn Spark. Is that better than Thundershock? 65. 40. Much better. Okay. And it might paralyze. Yeah, so see you later, Thundershock. Nice. We got a better a better move. Thanks for the money. Thanks for the money, honey. Such a such an iconic scene. I love that. Alright, here we are. Top of the mountain. Top of the volcano, that is. Is a mountain considered volcano? Now this, this Pucciana is going hard in the paint, while the others are just like standing still. I don't know why he's going so much faster. But we got a series of battles right here, and I think we're good on items. Like I think we have, I think we have what we need. Six super potions. We don't have any more potions. We got six. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine on items. Uh, I'm gonna lead off with Dylan. So we're battling Team Aqua. So Team Magma is the good guys in this game. Chef Esteban! Coming out with the Skarmory. I used to think Skarmory was a legendary Pokemon because his encounter rate was so low. I, I basically, if I couldn't find the Pokemon, you were a legendary to me. No, we're not going to learn Scary Face. So yes, stop learning Scary Face. Sending out Magic Carp. We're going to send Crow in for that. Go ahead and just get yourself a little XP. I feel like Crow should not get buffeted by the Sandstorm. He looks like a... He's a cactus. He is literally a cactus. And cactuses 
Cacti, excuse me. Excuse my language. Cacti are not affected by sandstorms. They love them. Don't th they, they thrive in sandstorms. This guy with the shirt off, he's feeling himself. Hey, it's your little boy. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and kill him. Good job. Dog eat dog world out there. Swinub is coming out. That's the poison type. Uh, why not Pidgeotto? Go ahead and get yourself. Oh, that's an ice type. Wait a second. I was thinking Swinub was a poison type. My bad. My bad. My bad. Uh, dog, you go out there. Oh, he's ground too. Y'all, I, I said this in the beginning of the episode. I, I told you I'm not great with typings. Um, so I guess crow. Everybody gets an uh, experience point. You get an experience point. You get an experience point. He's got the ice. Okay. We're you froze! Unthaw. Okay. You forced me to do this. Dylan. Who would have known that the freaking Swinub would put in this much work against half of my team? So, ice types. Ice types. We've got to get a, a something for ice types. Alright. Exactitude? That's a flying... Psychic flying, right? Yeah, that's definitely psychic flying. Alright, let's see how much spark does. Our new move. That's a one shot! There we go! Doc's putting in the work. Cause you're a rich girl! Rich girl Chloe did. Alright, we gotta heal up and then we're gonna battle this boss boy. Soda Pop 60, 50. Alright. We'll heal up Crow. And I don't know if we have a freeze heal. Or whatever it's called. Um, a yellow scarf raises toughness in contest. Okay. Don't see us using that. We do have a full heal. Do we have a berry that heals a freeze? We do not. Alright, we're going to go ahead and use the full heal. Just because it's not smart... It's not smart to go in to battles frozen. You gotta thaw all your meat out. Alright, here we go. The power contained in the meteorite. The power is contained in the meteorite. Okay, by amplifying its power with the machine, Mount Chimney's volcanic activity will stop. Eventually, the cooled down crater will find the rainwater, giving water Pokemon a place to live. <gasps> you again! Now listen, all of life depends on the sea. The sea is everything. It's important, it's paramount. Or it's importance is paramount. Like I said, I'm a bad reader, but I got great, great sound effects and impersonations. That is why we of Team Aqua are committed to expanding the sea. Doing so will result in the emergence of new Pokemon species. We will return the world back to the nature for the good of Pokemon. That is Team Aqua's vision. I like your vision statement, but we're going to have to kill you. Preschooler Max. That's awesome. Preschooler Max sends out his Surskit. We'll go ahead and bite the Surskit with the crit, of course. I expect nothing less from Dylan. He's going to send out Wooper. Uh, Wooper? Yeah, go, go out, Crow. You can kill Wooper. That's adorable. That's adorable little Wooper. Crow, get the get the XP. He's trying to learn Ingrain. I like that. What does that do? I can wait a second. Blaze roots so that the, they restore HP and the user can't switch out. Ah, see that I don't like. The user cannot switch out. We're gonna not learn it. I, it might be a great move, like for normal playthroughs. But for me, that is not happening. I have to be able to switch out in this Nuzlocke challenge. Entei's coming out. Level 25. We're going to water gun. Okay. 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 If he gets a crit, we're dead. Um, we're going to... We're going to soda pop. He uses super potion too, but it's not... A, it didn't do as much as mine did. So take that. Oh, this Entei is actually... Oh, and he lowered my defense. We got the crit, though! That's what my boy does to the legendaries. Nice. Yeah, you were caught off guard. Give me that money. 
All right, you're gone. Maxi, we did the job. We got the stuff. There you go. We remove the meteorite. I don't actually think that we, we do anything with this meteorite. I have no idea. Like I said, I don't ever really, like, <laughs> the, the amount that I've actually read of this game today is more than I usually read. And then we're going to come through here. This is, this is a new encounter. Jeans Pass? Yeah, this has got to be a new encounter. All right, we're going to switch to Doc for the Paralysis. And let's see what we can get. Come on. Nice! Okay, Curly it. Now it does, I'm pretty confident this thing's getting a teleport. But I want to paralyze it because I I just, I would rather paralyze it than potentially not get it. But curly it is really good. Does it just teleport? It does. That's okay. Man, we can't catch a freaking break with these new encounters. Every single thing that we're running into either dies of a crit or freaking runs away from us. Guys, I'm a, I'm a good I'm a good team. I'm a good trainer. All right, we'll battle you. This place isn't a casual hike. It's not suited for a picnic. Do you see me trying to picnic right now? Spark it up. Pidgeots. Let's see, this is what I need right here. I'm gonna get it. It's level 20, and it's dead. Jigglypuff. What's up? Another one shot. Man, Doc is powerful. Doc is powerful. We are trumping through these episodes. Alright. And now we're back on Route 112, but I think that this is the next city. Yeah. Lab is it Laverage Town? We're gonna get an egg right here. Can we, should we just Okay, okay. I think this is how I want to end the episode. I think today we're gonna end the episode getting an egg and just hatching it. Because I don't feel like waiting. So we'll get the egg, we'll speed run through it, and then we'll end the episode. I don't know if it's possible to get legendary Pokemon in eggs, or if it's always going to be like a, a normal type or what. But we can uh, we can try. All right, so we're going to get rid of Luna just for a minute. Thank you, Luna. We'll get this egg. You have an egg. And now we are going to... Yes, give me the egg. Now we're gonna catch it. Okay. Alrighty. And you know what might even be best is getting a bike, which I don't have. I don't I don't do we just do this the whole I mean we got we got three minutes left of the episode. So if we just sit here and talk for three minutes, that's fine. Guys, today has been like really, really good. Today's been so fun. Um We've we've done so much. Um, we've gotten so far, and honestly. Starting off the Nuzlocke when I, when I first started and actually dying, that was good for me. I've, I've learned a lot since then. I've learned how to not be stupid. I've learned how to make good decisions. Like, don't smoke. Don't... Don't do anything dumb. Don't send in... Don't pick Mistrevis. Don't ever pick Mistrevis. I feel like Mistrevis comes up in every single ep ep every episode. Alright, do we, do we sit here and do this? Because now I thought it was going to be sooner than that. I don't know why. I thought the speed up button would actually make it within minutes. It moves occasionally. That's good. Well, why, why not? We got nothing else to do. If you've made it this far in the video, you you can sit through a couple more minutes to see what this egg's gonna be. Going back and forth. This guy over here thinks he can... Oh, dang it. Alright, well, might as well go get the bike. Found the hard stone. I don't think that does anything for us either. Oh, well, I guess we're gonna battle. We have a couple, we'll, we'll do a couple more battles today. Sends out Wobbuffet. Dang it. Okay. Spark just instantly kill. Safeguard. Okay, thank goodness. That would have been really bad. Honestly, that was super risky, because if that guy had hit me with a magic... What is it? I don't even know. But if that dude had hit me with something that he's got, it's like a count it's like a counter, but for special types, that would have killed me. But Doc killed them instead. Alright, we'll just keep running up and down. Why not? Because I want to hatch my egg. How do you guys like your eggs scrambled? We'll do that. If you've made it this far today, last episode I asked you to comment your number. If you made it this far today, tell me how do you like your eggs scrambled. For me, I'm a, I'm a pretty simple guy. I like my eggs. No, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I just said, how do you like your eggs scrambled? That was a, that's just me assuming that you like them scrambled. My bad. 
how do you like your eggs cooked? Do you like your eggs cooked? Do you do you, do you prefer a poached egg as a as like a fancy getaway, or do you prefer the easy over easy, as my wife would say? Do you prefer the scrambled, the the the, the cracked open, and you just kind of mix that thing up, put it on rice, put it on a burger? Do you, how do you like your eggs? Let me know, and uh, and that would make me happy. Um, let's see, how, how much more do we have? How much more do we have? I feel like this thing should be close to hatching. It's making sounds, it's about to hatch! Let's go! Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see what this is gonna be. What is it gonna be? It's hatching, it's gonna hatch, it's gonna hatch. If I can get a... I would love a starter. Like, a, just, a, just a fire type. Just a strong fire type, like a Charmander. Maybe, maybe a, a Torchic. Perhaps a Centiqua. I... I don't know, I'm, I'm open to any kind of fire type, but I really, really would like a fire type. Can I please get a fire type? Okay, if an egg is making sounds, it, it can't just be sitting here actually making sounds and not coming out. Come on. Come on out, buddy. You can, you can do it. Oh! It's gonna hatch. Huh? Let's see what we get. Okay, we got a Tokatig! That's not, that's not a bad Pokemon. It's not, it's not good in this gym. Um, what are we going to name this Tokatik? It is a male. Um, you know what? Just because, uh, just because I, I like him this way, we're going to go with Scramble. Scramble the Tokatik. And we're probably not going to use this Pokemon on our team just, just right now. But regardless, Tokatik's a cool Pokemon. He's, he's a good, he's a good little guy. Let's see what his ability is and his moveset. He's at level 5. He's got the Liquid Ooze. Okay. Normal Flying type. He's got Growl Charm. Okay. So, not going to use him right now, but that is how we're going to wrap up today's episode with the Scrambled Egg. And if you've enjoyed today, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications, whatever you would like to do. I like you guys a lot, and I hope you have enjoyed today. We will see you next time on, I guess, episode 10? That's going to be next episode is episode 10, 10 Fingers for the Pokemon Randomizer Sapphire Nuzlocke. And if I said that in any wrong order, who cares? Bye.